Oh, I think yeah, I really realized that our culture at home is like everybody is so shy. You don't talk to each other as much as you do here. It's much easier to talk to like a random person in the U.S. than it's at home in Sweden. You like if you're sitting on a bus, you don't talk to each other. You're just sitting there in Sweden. In Northern Ireland, a lot of people would try to be the same. Like everyone, a lot of people kind of have the same interests, the same style. Everyone follows the same trends and fashion. Whereas in the United States, I find that everyone's a completely different person. Everyone's a completely different individual with different interests. I didn't realize that in the UK, it's just generally just British people. And in America, I think there's a lot more diversity. The dialogue is more open here. People are more sincere in the way they talk to you. That's a big difference from back home. Mainly with the weather, like it's so much sunnier and warmer here, like it's stereotypical, it rains in England all the time. The people from China, the people from Brazil, Brazil Brazilia and the people from Sweden, we speak different language and we all of us have the language barrier of English. So it's very hard to communicate with the uh, language, but we are brothers, we communicate with our heart. The most significant challenge so far is being away from home in such a long time and uh, not having a car. That's really difficult because for, for commute you need a car to go to anywhere around here. Or you need a friend who has a car. And luckily I have, I, have a I have a lot of friends who has a car here. So. The United States drive on the wrong side of the road, on the wrong side of the car, so even if I did drive, I wouldn't feel comfortable. Like, it's crazy you guys drive on the other side. It is so different between the movie and the real life. Like, you have to experience the real life, not learning from drama or not learning from movie. That everything here is it's a lot. Uh, the quantity and the food. If you order like a small, a small, I don't know, a small hamburger, that's a big hamburger for me. It's not a small. Um, media portrays a stereotype of people here in the U.S., which of course is incorrect. I thought about Americans as being more patriotic, kind of loud, and you know, fills up the room. But people here are not that much different from back home more. They're more open and genuinely nice. We tend to be kind of close and keep a distance. Yeah, I think I'm starting to see myself a bit different now because I'm feeling more confident with speaking to random people that I don't know before and stuff. And actually, I think I am developed my English speaking a bit, so yeah, it feels good. I feel like a more independent person, which is part of the reason why I did the year abroad. It's not only because I was interested in America, but I wanted to like just go somewhere. And I feel that now if you were to put me on a plane and tell me to like start a new life in another country by myself, I could probably do it. Staying here makes me really interested in like making a relationship with different people. I think it is really cool and this is the really valuable thing that in your whole life I think so. Yeah, that's the thing that I changed my perspective. I open my mind to the people who have different cultures and who have different perspectives. If you guys are thinking about go about to UNCP, I just want to give you one sentence. Just do it. You won't regret about it. Take the chance. Absolutely. Uh, study abroad is something that you'll do and experience and benefit from for your rest of your life. Um, this is a very good place to come to. Good people, good facilities, good education. Do it.